This is how you can make an advanced blacklist user system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you'll get access to that source code. And on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video. So we can start off by going over to our schemas file and we can go ahead and create blacklist.js. Now this schema is actually going to be very simple. All you have to do is store the user which is going to be a string and you can just go ahead and call it blacklist. So just go ahead and create a schema file just like this. If you don't have schemas set up yet go ahead and watch the MongoDB guide in the description below and with that we can go ahead and actually get into the code. So we can go over to moderation and we can go ahead and create blacklist.js Then we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder and we can also get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we can go ahead and get discord.js then we can do const blacklist equals require and we can do dot dot slash dot dot slash we can get schemas and we can get our blacklist schema then we can do module dot exports and we can do equals I'll open this so we're going to say data and that's going to be new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be blacklist then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say blacklist uh, user from using this bot and we can go ahead and add a sub command we can do command arrow function command and dot set name. This is going to be add. Then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say add a user to the blacklist and we can go ahead and add a string option. We can do option arrow function option dot set name. This is going to be the user. Then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the user ID you want to blacklist and we can go ahead and set required. We're going to make that true. Then we can actually go ahead and copy this entire sub command and we can come under that. We can go ahead and paste it. We can change this to remove. We can say remove a user from the blacklist and we can go ahead and say the user ID you want to remove from the blacklist. We can come over here and we can go ahead and add a comma. We're going to do async executes and we can do interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up. And here we can do const and we're going to go ahead and get options and then we can do equals interaction. Then we can say if and we're going to say interaction.user.id is not equal to. Then we can go ahead and paste in the ID of you or a developer so that basically you or that developer are the only ones who are going to be able to use this command. Then we can just go ahead and return await interaction to reply and we can say content and we can say only we can build this developers can use this command and we can go ahead and set informal to true then we can do const user equals options that get string and that is going to be user we can also do const data equals await blacklist dot find one and that is going to be a user which is going to be our user variable and then we can also do const sub equals options dot get sub command then we can do switch and we can get our sub and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and get case which is going to be add we can add a colon down here we can say if no data we can go ahead and open this up we can go ahead and say await blacklist create and we can open this up we're going to go and get our user which is going to be our user variable then we can come down here and we're going to go ahead and create an embed so you can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color which is going to be green and then we can go ahead and set a description and we can open up some emojis i'm going to get this one which is like the discord staff emoji and we can go ahead and say the user and we can do backslash tick we're going to get our user id and then we can do has been blacklisted from this bot. And then we can go ahead and send it. So we can do await interaction or apply and get our embeds and we can get our embed. And we're also going to set this to informal so that only the developer can see this in case you use it in a server. They don't want people to see the message in. Then we can go ahead and say else if we can do data, we can open this up. We're going to go ahead and return await interaction or apply and we can say content and we can say the user and we can go ahead and get our user. And then we can say has already been blacklisted and we can go ahead and set informal to true on this message as well so after doing that we can actually come down here out of this and we can go ahead and break and then we can go ahead and say case and this is going to be remove we can add a colon and we can come down here so now we can go ahead and say if no data we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and return await interaction or apply we can say content and we can go ahead and say the user and we can get the user id again and we can say is not on the and we can get our blacklist in bold and then we can go ahead and set informal to true as well we can say else if and we're going to say data we can open this up we can go ahead and say await blacklist dot delete many and that is going to be our user which is going to be our user variable basically the user id then we can go ahead and copy the embed we got right here so we're just going to do the exact same embed down here 
and we can go ahead and say the user and then we can actually go ahead and remove this part and we can say it has been removed from the blacklist and then we can actually go ahead and send it so we can actually come up here and we're going to go ahead and copy the send message because it is going to be the exact same message so after doing that we can actually go ahead and save this file and we can go over to our events and we can go into our interaction create so this is where we're going to go ahead and create a check to see if the user using the command is on the blacklist and if they are we can go ahead and blacklist them so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to come right under if no command return and we can go ahead and say const blacklist and we can do equals require and we're going to do dot dot slash we can get schemas and we can get our blacklist schema then we can do const data equals await blacklist.find1 and that is going to be user which is going to be our interaction.user.id because this is an interaction create file. Then we can go ahead and say if data we can just go ahead and return await interaction.reply and we can say content and we can say you have been blacklisted from using this bot. This means the developer doesn't want you to use its commands for any given reason. And then we can go ahead and set informal to true so that no one else can see this message. All right, so one other thing to keep in mind is this is only gonna blacklist them from using commands. I'm not 100% sure about buttons or select menus, uh, but for commands, it will blacklist them from that. So for example, if your bot has mod mail, it will allow the user who's blacklisted to use mod mail. So if you don't want them to be able to use mod mail, you can just go ahead and create a check within the start of the mod mail system to see if the user is blacklisted. But this is going to work for commands and other interactions. So that's all we have to do. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out. So I am on an alt account right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and run the test command for the tutorial bot. So we can go ahead and send it. As you can see, it's gonna allow me to use the command and it's gonna say that the bot is working. All right, so the next thing that we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and try to add a blacklist here. So we can just go ahead and put in anything. It's gonna say only developers can use this command, so that does work as well. All right, so over on the main account here, we can go ahead and try to do blacklist add, and we're gonna go ahead and put the user ID of the alt account right here. So we can go ahead and add them to the blacklist here. As you can see, it's gonna say that this user has been blacklisted from using the bot. So we can go back over to the account. All right, so now over on the alt account, once more, we can go ahead and run any command. So we can just go ahead and run test here. And as you can see, it's gonna say you have been blacklisted from using this bot. This means the developer doesn't want you to use commands for any given reason. So we can go ahead and try to run a couple more. So let's do the eight ball one. As you can see, it's gonna say you've been blacklisted and it's pretty much just not gonna let me do anything. Literally any command I send, let's just go ahead and try to ban somebody even. We can do ban, we can get that user, we can do a reason. It's gonna say I've been blacklisted. So anything I try to do on this bot, it's gonna not allow me to use the bot. One other thing you could do is you could add another sub command and basically you could check to see how many people are on your blacklist list and who they are just in case you wanted to review that or remove somebody from that. Um, but I didn't do that, so feel free to do that if you would like. So that's how you can make an advanced blacklist system for Discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And we'll be happy to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.